Next on our uh, ruler menu, we have some special rulers, and they really are special in the sense that they do some amazing things. Let's look at the parallel line first. I put that one down. It creates this ruler that anywhere that I select on the page now is going to go in that direction of those lines. Even if I swipe from left to right, it's not going to let me do that. So it's just going to basically follow the same direction. So that's pretty helpful. Let's clear that. And then next we have the parallel curve, which like the parallel lines is going to follow in a pattern, but it's going to follow that curve. So let's look at that. So basically everything's kind of sticking to that curve. And over here, it's just going to assume that you keep going straight in whatever direction the line ends going. So that is the parallel curve tool. Very useful. And next we have the multiple curve tool. And with these curves, you can modify and change it just like the other cur curves that we had before. Multiple curve tool. Let's take a look at this. Oh, this one is... So we haven't talked too much about like this when we select an object, but when I after I've created this, I can press O and click on it. And it will give us these uh, these points that let us modify it, and but it also has this thing which lets it lets us kind of twist it around. It's kind of three dimensional axis, so that when I finish it and I put some lines on it, now it's going to be, it's almost giving it a three dimensionality. So, uh, so this one you have to play with, I think, to really find a use for and get it down. But if you do, I think you can do some amazing stuff with this. Um, I'm not going <laughs> to, this would not qualify as amazing stuff, but I'm going to close it. Okay. Next one we have is the focus line and I put this down and basically every line I draw now is going to go towards that. Oh, it won't let me draw on the paper because that's where I put the ruler. You put a new layer and then move this ruler up to here. You can do that. Just drag it up and go to that layer. Now, as you can see, this all the lines are going to converge. This, you could use this for light. You could use this for perspective, but we actually have a perspective tool that will let us do that a little better. So this is just for some kind of convergence points. All right. Delete this new tool is the next tool is the uh, focus curve so we'll create a curve but all the uh, all the lines are gonna go back towards this initial spot so let's see so I can have lines here but everything else is gonna kind of shoot off of it as the focus curve. Next we have the concentric circles. And uh, so when I create this, let's say I create it like that. Actually, I'm going to do that again. I go like this and twist it. And basically now all these lines are going to kind of wrap around that circle. So again, a very useful tool. And when I'm done, I can either delete the ruler or more likely just uh, make it invisible. And finally, we have a guide, which is kind of a, just a line. It's not really that uh, helpful to me. And uh, actually, I'm going to delete the uh, this first. I'll show you how to kind of choose which one you're working on later, later. but for now, let's just uh, take a look at the guide on its own. So I have guide selected, and it's just basically a line that uh, extends beyond the page. And if I try and write down here, it will not be included in that line like the ruler, but over here it will. So that is the guide.